welcome to Junior Church. I hope you've had a great week. And if you're back at school, I hope you're enjoying it and it's not too hard yet. Um, and today I thought we would all get up and moving. So I want you standing on your feet and we are gonna do some blood pumping exercises. So everyone up on your feet and let's get started. Let's do some star jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten and some running on the spot really fast and then some nice jogging slow down and that really fast and slow down again and now let's jog in a circle because we like to see the scenery jog in a circle and hopping on one foot and hopping on the other foot and that's what and let's get back to running really 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 fast and now you can slow down and now you can stop and you're all ready and energized for worship.
last week we talked about whether or not Jesus really cares about us and if he cares why should we pray but this week we're going to start looking at how we can pray uh, how often are you told or asked to pray but you have no idea what to say and why do we even need to pray well firstly we pray as a way of spending time with God as we said last week similar to how we spend time with our friends and family. It's a way we can express thanks and love, as well as ask for forgiveness. And we can ask for our wants and needs here as well. Prayer doesn't have to be 10 hours long and it doesn't have to be grand and scary. And knowing what to pray about can be pretty difficult, but Jesus, taught the disciples a prayer that we can use or we can even use it as a template for our other prayers let's take a look it's in matthew chapter 6 verse 9 to 13 and it says pray then like this our father in heaven holy is your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins, as we also forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Even the disciples had to ask Jesus how to pray, and he was willing enough to teach them, so we shouldn't be scared when we don't know what to pray. And the Lord's Prayer, as it's often known, is a good prayer to memorise. Uh, it has all the basics of a good prayer and we can use it to pray when we don't know what to say. This prayer starts off by recognising that God in heaven is holy. It then asks that his will would be done on earth as it is in heaven. It then goes on to, um, to ask God for our needs. It asks, God for forgiveness and to help us forgive those who sin against us and it asks us and it asks God to help us with the things that we struggle with and the temptations and sins that come across our daily lives. It's such a good prayer for us to memorise and next week we'll look more in depth of how we can use this prayer to model our own prayers and so if you want to learn this prayer which I encourage you do I think it's a good one to know Make sure you turn to Matthew chapter 6, verse 9 to 13. You can also go to Luke chapter 11, verses 1 to 4. Okay, so our memory verse for today is 1 Chronicles 16, verse 11, which says, Look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always. So our actions are, look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always. So let's do that again. Look to the Lord and his strength. Seek his face always. And there we go. That's our memory verse of today. 1 Chronicles chapter 16 verse 11.